Street Stocks are rolling their way out onto the speedway for their first of two consolation events. Ten laps of distance, four cars to make it into the feature event. This is the way they're slated to go on the pole out of Rockland, Massachusetts. Ten laps of distance, four cars to qualify. Green flag is out, they're underway. Boss trying to take over the lead. On the outside though, Joe Farrow, and, whoa, Bridget Clark sideways down the back straightaway as he loses a couple of spots. The six of Potato and the 13 of Rob Murphy. A little bit of contact there. The Clark gets it back underway. He's back up to that fourth spot, but he's about a half a straightaway behind the leader, Billy Horse, Joe Farrow, and Jack Potato. Clock right now, your fourth and final qualify the way they sit on the track. Remember, only four cars to make it in this consolation event, four in the next one. Side by side battling back, Richard Blight, along with Paul Mealy and Rob Murphy, all battling for position. That's for fifth, sixth, and seventh on the field. Billy Hoss out of Rockland Mass opened up a bit of a lead, but. Uh, Joe Farrell right there behind, Jack Potato sits all alone in third. No pressure on him, but he's not close enough to put pressure on the leaders. This time by, it's halfway for Billy Hoss. He got a good jump on the start. Still leading him around, five laps into the event. Paul Mealy in the 22 slideways off the corner. You can see some uh, right rear tire smoke off that automobile. And go, oh, we got fluid all over the speedway. And the number 10 of Richard Blight goes around. It looks like he's putting his own fluid. And Billy Hoss with a little bit of bed with three wide down the front straightaway for that second spot. Door to door to door as Joe Farrell backs off going into one and two as he drops back to the fourth spot. But Nancy Sherman gets by in the 67. Joe Farrell now sits in fifth. Richard Clark moves up to third. Potato up to second. But Billy Hoss still out front. Trying to be the winner of this first of two consolation events. Joe Farrow now moves back to the fourth spot as he goes underneath Nancy Sherman down the back straightaway. And moves into that one the final qualifying spot. Potato sideways down the front straightaway. But keeps it keeps the momentum going as he still sits in that second spot. Clock also sideways off that second corner. This time by, two laps to go for Horst. Potato sits second. Third at the 31 o'clock. Fourth, Joe Farrell, Nancy Sherman, smoking that right rear through turns one and two. And down the back straightaway. Uh, this time by, one to go for Billy Horst, Potato, Clark, and Farrell. Nancy Sherman trying to get by, but she's holding on to that good spot. Looks like she may be the first alternate for the future event. That's the way they're going to finish out of turn number four. It's all Billy Hoss, second, Jack Potato, Clark, and Ferry, the top four. Nancy Sherman, Murphy, and Paul Mealy. Well, of course, the uh, street stock division here at Seacock Speedway, one of the most popular divisions with a whole lot of cars registered to race every single week, which means that we have two consolations in this division. We'll take a look at your lineup as you see it in the poll. Number 30, Robert Demers. Outside of... Patches here, down oh, in Sumerian Patches. Up here, we'll see this next time. So, everybody yeah. But thank you very much. We're in the green for our second Street Stock Consolation race. Robert Demers, number 30, all right. Rob Demers gets the 30, the 99, Bill Wilcox as they started, one and two. Great fight going on right now for second and third. Al Clements in the orange, 72. Sideways, backfield, looked like number 15 of Don Detlinger. This thing's even out. Demers now with lots of clean air ahead of him. And on the back straight, 93 of Joe Pinard, not uh, keeping up on the field. I'm sure he'll find his way to the pit. 
You are watching the second and final Street Stock Division Constellation Race. Last chance for these drivers to make it to the main event. Number 11 car of Jerry Smith with a shower of sparks coming from his tail end. He will find his way into the pits as well. The cross yellow and red flag meaning halfway. Battle right now is for second and third between the 12th car. Excuse me, the 72 car of Al Clements and the 21 car of Bobby Benton Jr. With a yellow, we've got a caution now. And we're getting reports now of uh, debris in turn three and four. It's a spring. There it is. You can ah. see it rolling up to the wall now. Springtime in... Demurrer is in the 30, still maintaining his lead. Wilcox in the 99. Al Clements in the 72, 1, 2, 3. And once again, Clements is being challenged both on the outside and from right behind. Behind him is the 76 of Napier, Rich Napier that is, in the 21 car. And Bob Bettencourt Jr., who started in the 11th spots in this field. The white and the checkered mean one thing, two laps to go. Continually, we track that race midfield as Clemens in the 72 still tries to hold off his competition. With one lap to go. Well, that battle there, Pete, of course, is for the fourth and final qualifying spot. Bob Benton finished second earlier tonight, and it looks like he's in danger of not even making the feature the second time around. Benton Court, of course, in the 21 car. Looking for the checkered flag, it's Demers, but the fight goes on for that final qualifying spot. From here, it looked like the 76 of Rich Napier. Hard to tell, though. By just a nose. As Napier